Okay. So that was a neat Anakin defense win in previous games. So uh, interesting games today. I'm starting to wake up a bit more. Nicodemus, Nicodemus. Okay, and maybe Anakin defense again. If since everyone's playing E4, be nice to try something different from the old French defense. I think C6. I'm trying to get the C file open. Uh, can I underbind C5 here? How's he defending C5? Give him a square, uh, knight square, C6 to attack D4 with. Can't be that bad, just on principles. Whoa. Okay, opening up a few lines now. So I've got potential bishop A6s as well. Knight C6. Maybe the Alakines is good uh, as a surprise weapon. People are not used to it. This looks pretty uh, juicy, I hesitate to say. Um, but I've got like knight b4 <coughs> to d3, surely. Is that a cheeky idea, knight b4 to d3? Uh, would it do anything? I'm not sure it would do anything. So how about for the moment, just normal play. Imagine knight a4. <coughs> normal play, bishop b4. Rook c8, what's the normal play here? Could it do anything like before? Not really sure. Might just bishop e7 then, okay for the moment. Maybe h5, h4, go for the king side attack. Or g5. <laughs> okay, now he stopped that, so if it was useful, it's gone now. Uh, yeah, kingside attack. <laughs> H5, <laughs> castle queenside, and just pawn storm the kingside, I think. Put this bishop over here. Uh, okay. Uh, what about d6 just to try and undouble? I want h2 as well. So my castle queenside. Is that crazy? Mind you, g5 is on as well. Mm. Did I want to do that here? Yeah. Probably not. Okay. Get rook g4 in here. So we can't take the knight without any rook d4s. So bishop g3 we could take. And we'll take the pawn. But I got a threat of bishop e2 anyway here, just to take on d4. I'll take bishop e2 here. Uh, I'll take first here. So he's going to take with one of the pawns? Doesn't look too hot. Say he takes with the h pawn. So bishop e2, rook d4. Bishop e2, queen e2, rook d4, it's queen h5. My king side is a bit weak, so I don't know if I should just leave that bishop on, shielding some light squares here. Like a6, I don't want the queen coming into a6. So we're not just castles, you know, rook g8, h5, h4, f h g. So knight takes g3, rook takes d4, queen h5. I think I might have to castle. Oh, he's gone for this, okay. So he's refusing to double the old pawns. Uh, right, can I safely castle here? Or is there b5 coming up? I could just see what happens here. b5, I can't believe b5. Knight b8, just hitting c5. c is a bit vulnerable. He's really going for my king with my bishop sitting on c4. Hmm. So what about, I don't know, h5 takes, opening up a few more lines. What is this? So he's on c6. But he has sex piece for that. So knight, I don't know, knight b8. Anything stronger than knight e8, rook d6 might be playable. 
Mind you, then there's knight f5. Um, I suppose that's a real threat. Uh, knight b knight b8 though. What's wrong with knight b8? Play knight b8. Protects a6 as well as c6. Um, she resolves. Okay. So his pieces are coming in for the kill, are they? There's knight e7s. I'll extinguish them. Um, knight e7 anyway. Or try to. Uh, so knight e6 is stopped at the moment. Actually, knight e7 is playable as I sack the queen. Knight e7, king b7. Try and get the rook off. I think this is a good move, rook e4. I hope it's a good move. Double up rooks next if he's rook. Go somewhere else. Get a counter attack going, hopefully. So knight e7, king b7, there's no danger there, is there? There's no bishop, there's no bishop and knight are on a6. This looks to be unsound play, an unsound piece sack, but can I prove it? Um I haven't played that soundly myself today, but I've had a little bit of uh, luck. So, okay, that's annoying, isn't it? I could just take, rook, bring that rook back, and then play d4, maybe. To try and uh, queen the pawn. I can't see what else to do, so I'll do that. Get a pair of rooks off. Actually, um, hmm. looks a bit vulnerable, really. Knight e7. But if I can get in d3, there'll be a big problem for white if I can get in d2 after. Surely, this pawn is going to mean something. So, knight e7, king b7. It looks kind of safish, this position. If I can just get in d3, that's all I want, d3, ah, oh, okay. Now I see some, some issues. Okay, so I've got rook d7 here. Okay, then maybe king b7 is needed next, pretty soon. It's going to find some terrible resources against me. Here in this position, but I'm covering b5 thankfully for the moment. So um, this back row is a little bit weak potentially. So this queen, if it came to c1, that'd be good. Okay, it's not got queen a6 yet. There's bishop f7 hitting the rook. And there's bishop e6 disrupting things. The rook from coming back and hitting the knight, threatening queen c1. So that's a bit of a, a major disruption. I think that's a nice move to throw in when he's got 37 seconds left, bishop e6. Just try and get in queen c1. So I'm hitting the knight. I'm threatening queen c1 mate. Ah, oh, and he defends both, of course. Still, still, let's check here. Bringing the knight back, and I can play bishop c4 now. Unless there's anything stronger than bishop c4. I don't think there's any major checks thankfully to worry about here I hope oh he's resigned he's resigned he's not letting me play bishop c4 I was looking forward to playing bishop c4 <laughs> so another Alakine defense victory today so this could be the day of the Alakine defense Aliakin defense so this line which I don't really know the theory of course at all because I'm only start playing something but it looked good it looked good um, so g5 is a bit cheeky uh, um, Throwing a bit of spice into the game, just open up the G file. <laughs> but um, yeah, I did, did drop the pawn here. I could have just played maybe Queen takes D6 if I wanted to keep this pawn. But uh, there's Bishop H2 here. Why don't I consider Bishop H2? Yeah, so that's strange. Okay, so I let him get away with that. It's still Bishop H2. Uh, so for some reason, this continuation. Okay. With this strange knight sack, which didn't seem to do much after knight b8, covered some key squares. Um, so this started to be quite favourable for me now. 
Okay, common saw questions on YouTube. Back up the mountain, sort of halfway, 2240. The mountain being up to like 2300 when it gets really, really tough. So 2240 now. Common saw questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.